Hi everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2. And today I've got um, a couple of junk journals for sale in my Etsy shop. And I'll have the link for that below. But I'll do a quick flip through of both of these books. So I'll start with this one. This one is mostly reds and blacks. Um, so they're soft cover junk journals and um, tea, with tea stained, tea dyed papers. And um, I can take this closure off. It's just a little tie closure, a gold cord with tassels. And talk about the outside first here. It's upholstery fabric covered, soft covered journal with chipboard in the middle and it's lined with uh, regular cotton fabric. So the upholstery fabric is here, mostly reds and blacks, like I said. Um, there's a little bit of cotton fabric and trim. This book plate is uh, metal and the uh, inside reads little vellum piece there. It reads memorabilia. So there is lace sewn on the cover and buttons that are sewn on. The spine is black velvet with a black lace over the top of that. And the back continues with the lace. It's just sewn over to the edge. The edge is raw raw edges with a zigzag stitch and the tassel is removable if you would like so it is just attached with a ball pin and it's uh, miscellaneous trims laces yarns a little bit of fabric so let's just hop right in um so there's a fabric pocket with ephemera here in the front there are three signatures. They each have around 24 pages, give or take, and, and 20, 24 pages, so I guess that's 48 if you include the front and back. 48 pages each of three signatures. Okay, so we've got tea stained paper throughout, um, it's patterned paper, there's some there's a vellum pocket here that says camera with the def a dictionary definition and there's a little stamped camera there with ephemera in the pocket. Some tea stained paper, pattern paper, little things clipped on. Uh, this is a little envelope. That there. Ephemera. Um, throughout there's lots of sewing and throughout there are laces that are attached to the edges of the of some of the papers. So a map. This sewing pattern paper ruffled on the edge here. A little bit of yarn trim, lace. There's a fabric, or I mean I'm sorry, a paper collage that's left open at the bottom to tuck in um, a little something something there. I have some little ephemera pieces there. This is fabric and paper. There's a little side tuck here with a piece of paper. Moving on to the next signature, this is like a Franken page here. A little, another little side tuck with a, a little bit of fabric sewn on there as well. There are little fabric tabs. Pocket. You'll find stamping throughout here. I try to keep it in, in the warm family, warm reds or burgundies or rusty reds. Another Franken page. This little pocket is another vellum from that same piece of paper. It's love and the definition of love there. A little vintage playing card and a tag. Some more ephemera there. Their pocket. Lots of room for journaling. This is a little fabric there. More stamping. The other side of the Franken page. Um, let's see. More stuff. Trying to get through here. Uh, okay, so this is just a little thing I tucked in. So it's a tea stained envelope and I have a little collage here and inside the envelope is a booklet I made with um, hand marbled paper that I made 
and it is sewn together, but it looks, let's see, 16 pages in this little booklet. Put that back in there, and I just tucked it in here. I'll probably put a little clip there so it stays a little better. Um, all right, so here is another pocket with stuff in it, a coin envelope, a uh, Franken pocket with journal spots, all these little tags and ephemera are blank in the back for journaling. A little doily ephemera collage, another little collage with a birdie. This is a mm, envelope pocket flip page that I made. A little collage with fabric lace stamping. Comes up and down there. Stamping, um, fabric lace button sewn on. Here's a tuck spot that's paper, fabric, lace, applique. <laughs> it's got it all. A little Franken pocket with a booklet. Oops, I guess it opens this way. Looks like about. Six pages. A tuck spot. Some cute butterflies. All right, getting to the last page. This, these are bigger uh, journal cards. That one's just kind of plain on the back. This, this one has fabric collaged on the back with this open. I left a little pocket, and it's just got a little fold out paper on there. It's in a secret, secret hiding place. All right, and then the back page with a nice pocket, ephemera, and another little fold-out sheet for journaling. So there is that one. Put this all back together, scoot that aside, and I should also mention I made these little little bags, little cotton bags, and the journal will go inside of there. It's a little drawstring, and you just pull it shut. All right, this next one also has a little bag here. Mostly brown. This one is mostly brown. So it's the same style. There's upholstery fabric, raw edges with a zigzag. It, the closure is ribbons and it's attached with a, an eyelet here. But before we go inside, here is fabric um, and paper collaged on the outside. There's lace that goes all the way across with buttons that were sewn on. The spine is fabric with lace and then the lace continues on here onto the back. And also this tassel is removable with that ball pin again. And same thing, there's fabric and ribbons and lace and trims on there. So now let's open this up here. All right, so nice sewn pocket there with ephemera. And this one is a tiny bit bigger. Um, the other one had 48 pages per signature. This also has three signatures sewn directly onto the cover as what the other one was as well. And um, I wanted to say there's like 52 pages per signature. It's just slightly bigger. 53, 50, let's see. No, it wouldn't be an odd number, but 54, 52, something like that, pages per signature. So um, we've got pockets, ephemera, some little collaging, your pocket, printed paper, it's all tea stained again. A little postcard made into a pocket with ephemera little tip in there with fabric and lace. This one has a fold out page with a it's a little journal card in there. 
that's not a card, I would just say paper, journal paper. Collaged piece, um, applique. Pattern paper. And throughout again, I have lace sewn on edges of, of a lot of the pages. This has a little tab sewn on. Pattern paper, a little collage with cheesecloth and a button and paper. A little bag made into a tuck spot here. A little clip with ephemera. Some stamping again. Um, tuck spot on this on this short page, sort of decorative random stitching there. Here's the other half to that fold out page. A little journal, journal paper clipped on. A little collage. Big old tab there. And uh, some masking of a butterfly on there. Hopefully you can see everything okay. A little collage. This is actually a tuck spot too. Some collaging. Little fabric uh, gathered there at the top. This was a little pocket I made and sewed in. It has a booklet. Oh, it does not. I'm sorry. This is this is a wrapped paper wrapped on the edge to make it sturdier. It does not have a booklet in it, but it is a pocket. And in the back of that pocket is a little folded paper for journaling. All right. Another folded paper again. Collaging, here's fabric and lace and trim. This one is paper and a doily. Collaging and stamping. A little journal card tucked in the top there. This one is also a little pocket with a bookmark. And sewing pattern paper there, ruffled on the edge. We're masking here with butterflies and a giant ribbon over here. And the next and last signature is a Franken page. Little fabric and paper collage. This pocket has a booklet as well. It's a landscape. So eight pages on that one. And a little disclaimer. It, this, this page I sewed on a little bit crooked. But it's a junk journal, right? It's a little crooked. All right, there's stamping. A little bit of lace. There's uh, fabric and buttons up there. Ephemera. There's a little tip in there. This is a kind of fiber um, collaging there, pocket. This is a tuck spot and it's a book page with blank paper on the other side. A little collaging there. This is a pocket, a coin envelope, which is uh, also got a tuck spot behind it. More fabric ruffle. A collage. A lace pocket this time and then a handmade envelope. And it does have a little booklet inside as well. Looks like it has 12 pages. Collaging, uh, stamping, this beautiful red feather. And collage, I really love this red butterfly, so pretty. Some card, journal cards there. More ephemera cards there. Masking of a doily there. This is the other side to my Little crooked page. Oh, it's in there permanently. All right, so there's a collage, Franken page to end it up, and a little applique there. 
This back pocket has ephemera journaling cards and another little uh, folded sheet as well with a little stamping on it. So that is it. Those are my two um, journals that I'll have listed in my Etsy shop. Thank you for watching and um, have a great day. Bye.